For Anglo-Saxon literature, there were two important influences, Germanic tradition and Christian religion. The Anglo-Saxon literature was deeply rooted in the dark, heroic tales of Germanic mythology. Because Germanic religion held no promise of an afterlife, the achievement of fame was the primary goal in a warrior's life. With the promise of eternal life, the coming of Christianity was able to coexist, not replace, that of the stark Germanic mythology. In 596 AD, Pope Gregory I embarked missionaries to convert the Anglo-Saxons to Christianity. By the year 650 AD, Christianity had become the most dominant form of religion in England. As Christianity spread throughout Anglo-Saxon England, so did the new beginnings of monasteries. A few men and women who had chosen to dictate their lives to work and prayer. The men known as monks and women known as nuns established libraries and schools within their monasteries. These monks and nuns had a very demanding life filled with poverty, fasting, absolute obedience, and hard manual labor. Another way to express religious devotion was to undertake a pilgrimage or a journey to a sacred site. English pilgrims had a variety of places to pilgrimage to, like Jerusalem, Rome, or the famous shrine at Santiago de Compostela in Spain. If these pilgrims couldn't undertake any of these journeys, they could still visit various holy sites in their own country. Canterbury Cathedral was one of the most important destinations for English pilgrimages. During this time of religious movement, the church had a big ordeal. Most people didn't know how to read, so they couldn't accept and know who God is. The church came up with some clever ideas like the use of sermons, stained glass windows, and popular entertainment to teach the truths and historical events of religion. English dramas were actually developed from enactments of biblical stories during the feast days of Palm Sunday and Easter. Bede was a monk who lived between the years of 632 to 735 AD. At the age of seven, B traveled to Wearmouth, England to live and study at the local monastery. Two years later, he would move to the monastery at Jarrow, where he would devote himself to religion and scholarly pursuits for the rest of his life. Bede had a ranging interest that included religion, poetry, mathematics, and science. Bede's passion of calculating times and dates helped him develop a method of dating that we still use today. The method is based off the birth of Jesus in the year AD 1. A.D. is Latin for Anno Domini, meaning in the year of our Lord. Bede is considered the father of English history, writing over 40 works with his most famous masterpiece, The Ecclesiastical History of the English People, which documented the influence of the church on the development of English civilization. During this time of Christian influence, many new and exciting books were created expressing the author's views of Christianity. The different writing styles of authors brought forth a wide range of storytelling from graphic novels to 100-page stories. These authors and their books would redefine literature, Christianity, and the influence of God on people's lives. Beowulf is the first great heroic poem in the English language. It features a courageous hero against a sinister and demonic force. Beowulf was most likely written by a Christian believer because it contains references to the Bible throughout. To this day, we still don't know who the author is, yet it is one of Western Europe's oldest and well-known stories. Geoffrey Chaucer is often called the father of English poetry, and with his magnificent story, The Canterbury Tales, it's hard to disagree. The Canterbury Tales is famous for several reasons. It was the first to use Middle English rather than Latin or French as a way of writing in major literary works in England. It was also one of the first to use an assortment of people and pictures to tell a story and give the story some lifelike qualities. With approximately 17,000 lines of poetry, Geoffrey Chaucer's epic poem still entertains today. One of the greatest English literature pieces ever written, the ecclesiastical history of the English people gives a vivid and well-documented take on early English civilization. The author, Venerable Bede, researched stories of conquest saints, missionaries, and monasteries to write his great work. Bede also got help by talking to artists, scholars, and other monks from afar who had visited his monastery. Bede was able to accurately depict Britain's life in between the years of 46 and 731 AD. Well after his death, he was declared a saint of the Catholic Church.